This is the story of Fritz and Jessamy, a 21-year-old Filipina girl. Fritz wanted to share his story of how they both met. Fritz was a 46-year-old German man who had been using an online dating site to search for love. Then he stumbled upon a beautiful Filipina girl's profile, and her name was Jessamy. She was a 21-year-old woman from Makati, Philippines who caught his attention. They hit it off immediately and spent six months chatting online and getting to know each other. Despite the distance, Fritz and Jessamy had a strong connection, and they spoke to each other every day. Jessamy had fallen on hard times and lost her job, which meant that she had to live with a friend because she only had enough money to buy food for herself. Though she never asked for money, Fritz offered to send her 200 euros a month to help her out. Jessamy was hesitant to accept the money, but Fritz insisted that he wanted to help her. As time went on, their relationship grew stronger, and they made plans to finally meet. Jessamy was thrilled when she heard that Fritz was coming to visit her. She had never been in a relationship with someone who cared about her so much, and she couldn't wait to meet him. Jessamy explained that the cost of renting an apartment would be around 300 euros for the two weeks, and the cost of hiring a driver would be around 350 euros. Fritz was happy to contribute towards these expenses, as he wanted to make sure that they had a good time together. Fritz booked his flight, and Jessamy promised to meet him at the airport when he arrived. He was both nervous and excited about the trip. As he boarded the plane, Fritz knew that this trip could change his life forever. He had never been to the Philippines before, and he was eager to get there. As the plane took off, Fritz felt a sense of adventure and excitement and he was anticipating the big moment when he could see Jessamy's smiling face at the other end. Fritz's flight landed in Manila, and as he made his way out of the airport, he saw Jessamy waiting for him with the driver. They hugged and kissed each other, and Fritz felt a sense of happiness and relief that they were finally together. They got into the car and began the journey back to the apartment that Jessamy had rented. As they drove through the busy streets of Manila, Fritz couldn't help but feel a sense of wonder and excitement at all the new sights and sounds around him. When they arrived at the apartment, Jessamy showed Fritz around and they settled in for the night. Over the next two weeks, they explored the city, went on adventures, and got to know each other even better. Fritz was grateful for the time they spent together, and he knew that he had found someone special in Jessamy. The next day, Jessamy called the driver and asked him to pick them up so that she could show Fritz around the city. They hopped into the car and set off to explore Manila. Their first stop was Intramuros, a historic walled area in the city that was built during the Spanish colonial period. They walked around the cobbled streets, taking in the sights and sounds of the bustling city. Next, they went to Rizal Park, a popular green space in the heart of Manila. The park was filled with people enjoying the sunshine. Jessamy and Fritz strolled around taking in the beauty of the gardens and the fountains. After that, they went to the Mall of Asia, where they browsed through the shops and ate some delicious Filipino street food. Jessamy explained that the mall was a popular spot for locals and tourists alike, and they enjoyed people watching and taking in the vibrant atmosphere. As the day came to an end, Jessamy and Fritz returned to the apartment, tired but happy after a day of adventure and exploration. They talked about all the places they had seen and the things they had experienced and Fritz felt grateful to be sharing these moments with Jessamy. I'd like to take a moment to ask you to please help us out by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel for more of our videos. Liking and subscribing helps us so much, and I really appreciate your support. That night, after their day of exploring Manila, Fritz and Jessamy spent some quiet time alone at the apartment. Fritz was feeling a strong romantic connection with Jessamy and wanted to take their relationship to the next level. However, Jessamy stopped him and reminded him that she was a virgin and that she was saving herself for marriage. She had mentioned this to him during their six months of chatting online. Fritz was surprised but respectful of her decision, and he didn't want to push her into doing something she wasn't comfortable with. Instead, they spent the evening talking and getting to know each other even better. They laughed and shared stories, and Fritz felt a deep sense of connection with Jessamy. As the night wore on, they eventually went to bed. Fritz held Jessamy in his arms, feeling grateful to be with her, even if they couldn't take things to a physical level just yet. 
As he drifted off to sleep, he knew that he wanted to be with Jessamy, no matter what challenges they might face along the way. For the remainder of his vacation, Fritz and Jessamy continued to explore all of Metro Manila. They visited museums, markets, and restaurants, and enjoyed each other's company more and more each day. Jessamy didn't have any close friends in the city, other than the girl she was staying with at the apartment they shared. Her only family, her mother, lived in a small province town near Cebu, so Jessamy was excited to have Fritz there to spend time with. During the remainder of his stay, the driver would pick them up daily and take them wherever they needed to go. Fritz paid the driver for the gas money, and the driver was grateful for the extra income. One day, while they were out shopping, Fritz bought Jessamy some new clothes so that she could look good for any prospective job interviews. Jessamy was thrilled and grateful for the kind gesture. As the days went by, Fritz knew that his time in Manila was coming to an end, and he didn't want to leave Jessamy behind. He had fallen deeply in love with her and knew that he wanted to spend the rest of his life with her. But he also knew that it wouldn't be easy, given the distance between them. Two days before he was scheduled to go back home, Fritz asked her if she would marry him. She was very happy and she accepted his proposal. When it was time to leave, both Fritz and Jessamy were sad that their time together had come to an end. He would go back to Germany and work with the German registry office so she could join him in Germany for marriage. Fritz gave all of the cash he had left over to Jessamy before he left so she would have some extra money. The driver took Fritz and Jessamy to the airport and they said their goodbyes. During the flight back home, all Fritz could think of was Jessamy. As Fritz was making plans for Jessamy to join him in Germany, he continued to send her money to help support her. One day, Fritz wanted to surprise her with a flower delivery. He did not tell her what he was sending so he could keep it a surprise, but he needed the delivery address of the apartment she was sharing with her friend. He called Jessamy and got the address of the apartment and told her to be expecting something soon. Fritz had found a flower delivery service in Manila that would deliver the flowers to Jessamy. They told him that their service included sending him a photo of her accepting the flowers. When they arrived, they knocked on the door and Jessamy answered. She accepted the flowers and went back inside the apartment. The flower delivery service sent Fritz a photo of Jessamy receiving the flowers. To Fritz's surprise, the driver he employed for two weeks was standing inside the apartment just behind Jessamy when she opened the door. And then, he recognized the apartment she was in was the very same apartment he paid 300 euros to rent during their two weeks together. Fritz realized he had been scammed. Fritz immediately called Jessamy on WhatsApp and he was furious as he waited for Jessamy to answer the call. When she finally picked up, he wasted no time in confronting her about the driver being in her apartment. Jessamy's response, however, was not what he had expected. She immediately hung up on him and refused to respond to any of his subsequent phone calls, text messages or emails. Fritz had to assume that the driver was actually Jessamy's boyfriend, or perhaps even her husband, and they had both scammed him. This revelation explained why she had never taken their relationship any further sexually, but it also left Fritz feeling betrayed and deceived. Since then, Fritz has given up on the idea of meeting a lady from the Philippines, or any other country. He might try again sometime in the future, but he wanted people to know about his terrible experience so other men can be cautious. Although he believed that he knew Jessamy well enough to trust her, she proved to be exceptionally skilled at concealing her ability to deceive others. Fritz, on the other hand, learned the hard way about being overly generous with his money, and assuming that he was providing for the woman he would spend the rest of his life with. I'd like to thank Fritz for being brave enough to share his story with us. If you have a story that you would also like to share with us, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. It really helps promote this channel so other people can find us. Also, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you can be alerted when our next video is released. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon.